quiet. When two people traveling on varied paths directly miss one another, is it an omen of good luck or bad? The soccer player kicks the ball to bend into the net, the way the light bends into a rainbow's curve. He gazes across a crowded bar as if only I exist. I recall my first softball glove, how unexpectedly delicious the leather hide smelled of something nearly briny, yet not of the sea. The giant ball lands directly in my palm, but love is not something to be caught. Minutes tick away, a letter arrives and proclaims to be love or lost love or who the hell knows. We write to one another about mystery and longing and ghostly characters who survive sweaty summers on NYC asphalt, condensed sweat strips from the air conditioners, a rain of rapture down from concrete heavens, machines purr in bedrooms of lonely women and pull out orgasms like hot pasta, wet, steaming noodles. This begins with an epigraph from my favorite, Joan Didion. During 